John Ryder says he'd be interested in a fight against Chris Eubank Jr. and also a rematch against Rocky Fielding. Now, there had been rumors going round that this John Ryder Chris Eubank Jr. fight could take place on the undercard of the World Boxing Super Series Super Middleweight Final between George Groves and Callum Smith. But in this particular interview, John Ryder is still casting doubt over whether uh, the final between Groves and Smith will actually take place and still the uh, entertaining the possibility that Chris Eubank Jr. could fight in the final. And because of that, he's not quite sure whether he would sign for a Chris Eubank Jr. fight, at least not then, because... You know, he's not sure what's going to take place. Eubank Jr. might pull out and then get put in the final and then he would have wasted a training camp. So that's basically what John Ryder is saying here. However, if the fight did take place, I think it would be a very, very interesting fight. Uh, John Ryder's having a bit of an Indian summer in his career. I was very disappointed with John Ryder earlier on in his career. I thought he underperformed. I thought he never really lived up to his potential. The Nick Blackwell fight was particularly disappointing to me. And I know I've mentioned this previously, but John Ryder was lighting Nick Blackwell up like a Christmas tree early in that fight. He was just way, way, way above Nick Blackwell in terms of skill and ability. But somehow he capitulated after an extremely bright start where it looked like a one-sided fight. Blackwell just fell to, uh, sorry, <laughs> John Ryder fell to pieces against Nick Blackwell. I don't know what that was all about. And in several other fights, I felt like Ryder underperformed. And the issue with Ryder has never been his technical ability. It's never been his punching power or his speed because he's shown to be good at, in, in all those fields. But the issue with John Ryder for me was always his mindset. He never seemed to have the killer instinct and the determination and that grittiness, that gritty mentality. That mental toughness. He never seemed to have that to me, John Ryder. He never, there just seemed to be something missing from his mindset in the ring. You know, he almost seemed like one of them guys who's too nice for boxing. He has this talent and the ability, but doesn't quite have the killer instinct that it takes. Well, in his past few performances, he's shown that killer instinct. I thought he looked very good against Cox in his last fight. And... Yeah, he's having this Indian summer. So off the back of that type of form, I'd be very interested to see John Ryder face Chris Eubank Jr. Eubank Jr. clearly struggles against talented boxers. But John Ryder is not exactly slick. I mean, he has some slickness to him, but he's certainly nowhere near as slick as a Billy Joe Saunders. He's not as formidable at long range, from what I've seen anyway, as a... George Groves so I do think it will be a much more evenly fought contest uh, than certainly you know if he was to fight Chris Eubank Jr. I think the fight will be far more even than Eubank Jr. versus Groves and I think it would be more competitive from earlier on than Eubank Jr. versus Billy Joe Saunders because that fight only got competitive in the second half Whereas I think John Ryder's style, I think it will be awkward for Chris Eubank Jr. Don't get it twisted, but I reckon he'd be able to get punches off more easily than he did against Billy Joe. That's just my feeling. I think John Ryder squares up a lot more than Billy Joe or George Groves. And because of the fact he squares up and he stands still a lot more than either of those guys do, that would play into Eubank Jr.'s hands. Then again, John Ryder's a talented fighter. Maybe he would move a lot more and use a lot more lateral movement against Chris Eubank Jr., flip the script on him and beat him. Uh, either way, I think it's a competitive fight. It's a fight I wouldn't be shocked if either man won. And it's something I would definitely like to see, particularly if they can get it on the undercard of the World Boxing Super Series final. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this potential matchup. John Ryder versus Chris Eubank Jr. Would you like to see it? And if the fight does take place, who would you have winning? Let me know how you feel in the comment section, people. It's Hatman, I'm out.